What's up guys? I got a video for you today brought to you by Original 2. This is a subscriber of mine that has a really cool name by the way, Original 2. Kind of like an oxymoron, like he's the second original. Uh, anyways, he wanted me to make a video on social media addiction. Let's dive into it. Cue the intro. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't like intros. Alright, so let's dive into it. This is not a subject I know much about, so I'm just going to get my mind on it. I'm going to talk about perhaps like the human psyche on it. Uh, let's dive into it. So, social media is a platform that a lot, millions of Americans, let alone a millions of people in the world, are into. Social media is just like any tool, good or bad. However, there's an element of social media that replaces something very important in our biology. A lot of people are waiting for likes. Uh, they'll post something saying, oh, someone's going to like this, uh, my picture of my food or my selfie, uh, Facebook, or even YouTube, right? Like even YouTube, people are like, can't wait to get that shot of dopamine by being approved of others. Instagram. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up, the only social media I'm on, YouTube, which I don't do it to socialize. And second, it would be Facebook, which is literally only people I know in real life. I will not put anyone on Facebook from YouTube, and I've had people from YouTube trying to hook up with me on Facebook, and I'm like, dude, I ain't, I ain't about that. And there's a lot of reasons for it, because I want people that are actually in my life that I can communicate with. The problem with people is that they're on Instagram and all these other networks, Twitter, which I don't, I'm not on this stuff. And there's a reason for it, it's because I'm going to have to have people on there that I don't know. I guess not necessarily have to. But there's going to be people on there that I don't know. And I'm going to want a constant approval from people that I don't know. It's kind of shitty. It's basically goes down to the old saying, which isn't that old because the internet's been relatively new. Um, the more friends you have on social media, the less friends you have in real life. But, that's not entirely true, but I will say that if you're having a thousand friends on social media, yeah, you might have an issue in real life trying to get your dopamine hits. Now, there's something in um, our biology, our makeup, that is an evolutionary uh, reward for being of value or being liked, um, and you get these shots of dopamine as a reward where your serotonin levels are boosted. Your body gives you this when you're rewarded. So this would be like, during sex, you have dopamine hits. You have serotonin levels rise in order to implant your seed. You have dopamine levels rise when you get a promotion and you're able to get more resources when you kill a deer because you know you're gonna be able to feed your family. You have dopamine hits as a reward for something that's very positive and, and crucial in your life. To reward yourself. Now, what you are is your brain, right? You have a brain, you have your cerebrum that goes down your spine. That's you pretty much in a nutshell, right? And then you have this biological makeup of, you know, flesh, blood, and everything else that you are in order to protect that brain and to make sure that your seed lives on. That's pretty much it. So if you think about it, you're just your brain and you're constantly trying to give your brain that reward. And in order to get that reward, you need uh, levels of survival, levels of reward for your good work, with your external skeleton, or I mean your external self. 
So your brain is pretty much you. In your nutsack is pretty much your brain. I mean, that's what sperm looks like, right? It looks like a brain with a cerebrum. Come on now, start thinking. Those are little brains. Now, you're constantly in a state of making your brain survive. That's why you have a skeletal system. This is why you have a skull to protect that brain. That's why you have a spine to protect your, and it's, you. there's other reasons why you have a spine, but one of the reasons is to protect your cerebrum, which is part of your brain. Now again, in life, you get rewarded through serotonin shots. I mean, uh, uh, dopamine hits. You get the same dopamine hit when you get a like on social media, when a lot of people like your shit. So you're constantly checking your phone in order to get that dopamine shot, which doesn't re- really reward you at all. It's a false sense of reward. Now, there's a lot of reasons why people want to be on social media and it becomes an addiction because you get that dopamine shot when you haven't really accomplished shit. You haven't killed that deer to feed your family. You haven't had sex. You haven't done the things that your body naturally produces to reward you. But yet you're getting the reward anyways because you're tricking your brain. You're tricking your body to produce the dopamine shot. So, in reality, outside of the internet, outside of social media, to be liked, you need to provide value. Watch my last video. When you're providing value to others, it gets people to like you. That value could be in A, B, or C. It doesn't really matter what that value is. As long as you're providing it for others, and that person gets a dopamine shot, you get a dopamine shot, and you guys have a great conversation, relationship, you're humorous, uh, you're hardworking, you provide resources, whatever it is, right? And then you get dopamine shots, which is good. This is really good. This establishes the value that you're bringing. This actually betters your relationship and who you are. Social media, you get a false sense because these really aren't your friends. They might like you, but they don't even know who you are in real life. So you're trading real social um, social constructs, like in real life, for something that is make-believe. This is actually creating a distance on your actual relationships. So when you're on social media and your boyfriend or girlfriend's trying to conversate with you, and you're on social media and you're, "Uh uh-huh, uh-huh, it's the same thing I've said in that video of screen addiction. It's the same thing. The screen addiction comes in all different types of forms. But social media is trying to get approval of others that you're never going to meet. You may have a million followers or subscribers or whatever the case. But does that mean that your day-to-day life is great? No. But you got to give yourself a false hope of that because you don't have this in real life. And you're not trying to achieve this in real life. So your addiction is preventing you. You can be right next to your loved one in which you're trying to, you should be trying to provide value with and try to get those dopamine shots as a yin and yang um, balance. You're reducing that dramatically because you're trying to get this elsewhere. Because you got, you're a woman, and you received tons of likes, tons of positive comments about your selfie pic online because you were either half naked or whatever, right? You just hit, you're just a beautiful woman or whatever. You know, you might have people that appreciated you, and then you get that shot of serotonin and dopamine that I'm beautiful, I'm great. So then when your boyfriend comes up to you and says, wow, you look great today, it's dramatically reduced. That feeling of, wow, I just, I just, 
I look this great and I'm appreciative. People, my boyfriend finds me very attractive. This is good. This is awesome that he he's doing this. He's 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 telling me that I'm beautiful. Um, and there's an issue there because now you're not appreciative or feeling appreciated as much by your boyfriend because your boyfriend wasn't 2,000 likes, 500 positive comments. Oh damn, girl, you sexy. All 500 men that, or even women as well, that said something positive about you and liked you on this photo is at another level than what your boyfriend just said, which matters the most. Hmm. Again, you can be right next to your boyfriend or girlfriend on social media while they're talking to you and you're like, "Uh uh-huh, yep, uh uh-huh, yep. Oh, that's what happened in your day? Uh Uh-huh. Oh, Denise is a bitch, isn't she? Uh Uh-huh. But you're not paying attention. And because you're not paying attention, you're not listening. And because you're not listening, it's lack of care. Because you don't care, how much do you actually love that person? Come on. You're trying to get approval from people that you don't even fucking know in order to get dopamine shots that requires value in real life. So you need to provide value in real life in order to get these dopamine shots. But you're bypassing it. And now you're having a false sense of life. You're living in a delusion. There's a lot of issues here. Again, I'm not a... uh, I'm not well-versed in this, right? Social media. I don't know what even Twitter is. That's how far away from the loop I am. But I'm going to explain to you what I know. And I know that there's a delusion called social media where you're trying to get approval from others in order to get your dopamine shots. And I know that it's an addiction. So I also know that people are in a regular conversation looking away and on their phone or on their computer because they're caring more about that. And then they're bypassing what they should be achieving, which would be if a woman's beautiful... You know, it'd be like her man constantly reassuring her that, wow, you're beautiful today. And it'll motivate her in real sense. As opposed to, I want to turn a little bit so my ass pops out a little bit for this photo. Which is a false sense of beauty. Or, now they need fake tits because they need the approval of others as opposed to their boyfriend. And this is an addiction. Because now you're making lifestyle changes in order to get your dopamine shots, which is literally a chemical going into your brain. Now, to be liked on social media is uh, low. To be liked by your boyfriend or girlfriend in real life, you need to provide value. And I know I've been on this wave of value, recent again, because of my last video, but I've been on this wave of value since, I don't know, 2010, 2011, probably even before then, where I explained to people, hey, you see what you're doing? See how you're expecting? Well, you're not providing value. You might be providing value towards social media, but your loved ones in real life aren't receiving that value. So you already, in your back of your mind, already believe, already have been misconstrued that you've already given some value. You look, you you have a selfie. You did yourself up in your makeup, in your hair, in your pose, and you've done a couple of, uh, pictures. You feel like your job is done. But you should have just done that for your man. As a dude, you have your own version of this. Where you're on social media and you're providing value to your social media and you're um, downloading information from social media, you're downloading a lot of things from social media, and then you're distanced from your loved one because you have a false sense of providing value when you haven't done shit in real life. So you 
there's something in your psyche that already told you that you've already done enough. But in real life, if you exclude social media, you haven't done shit. You haven't provided value. I see men all the time uh, on social media. I have a roommate that's on social media a lot. Even dating sites, this is social media. Dating sites like Tinder, you want to um, chat up these girls because it's an easy way to chat up girls and vice versa, chat up guys and, and get guys to come over. And it's kind of disturbing that you're trying to establish a relationship or whatever, or just a whatever kind of relationship, if it's fuck buddies or whatever, it doesn't really matter if it's long term or fuck buddy, you're trying to establish a relationship through texting. Whoa. You're not going to understand each other. It's hard to listen to somebody when you're trying to establish a relationship through texting. Because you're going to be misconstrued. You're not going to be understood. And you're not truly listening to understand each other. You're going to be typing to each other in order to reply. These relationships can't work because you don't understand each other. And then you're already starting off at the most crucial points of trying to understand each other, trying to figure out where each other are, what you guys are trying to get in real life. What are you guys trying to get out of each other? What kind of value can you bring? You're not going to understand any of that. You're not even going to understand their aura, who they are, by their picture or by their text message. It's kind of sad. Then there's another thing called porn. And I'm going to add porn to social media. You've already seen my video on, well, if you haven't, check it out. My video on porn and masturbation. Now, there's a site that I actually enjoy called Chatterbait. But it's not that good of a site in terms of uh, what you get in real life. And it goes back to my masturbation and porn video why I'm totally against this shit and why I'm trying to explain to you how to better your life if you get out of it. Get out of it totally. Now there's a site called Chatterbait. I'm not trying to promote it. And I'm not trying to bullshit it either. But in, on that site, men or women, I guess, you provide tokens, which I guess you got to pay for, to these performers that are literally just chatting, typing, hey baby, and there's a webcam girl, or guy, I don't know what you're into, there's probably even trannies out there, not too familiar, but on the site, you give them money, and you want them to provide you value. And then you're getting a false sense of love in real life. For example, a man tipping a web girl, giving them money for them to get naked for you and then to talk to you. and, and You're having a false sense of love. Then you're not going to need that woman in real life. And you're not going to be able to or want to provide value for that woman in real life. Now, again, this works both ways, but I'm a guy. I'm just telling you my what I know. So then when you have a woman in real life that you like, you're always going to be having in the back of your psyche that you can always go back to that social media porn site, whatever the fuck it is, right? Because then you can just go there and have your release or porn or whatever. Now, when it comes down to Facebook, like what I have in real life, I try to provide value on Facebook to my loved ones, my family, my friends. And I try to enlighten people. I try to uh, help people the same way I do on YouTube. Then I also have another aspect where I'm trying to be funny and hilarious, and I'll, I'll say some funny things. I have uh, a whole list of things, like funny jokes and stuff that I like to provide. But I get a dopamine shot out of it. And even with your loved ones, that you're trying to provide value on the internet, which that's pretty much all I try to do on the internet. I don't try to soak up 
value from others because people really don't give much value on social media. That's why I try to provide value for others. I try to make people think in a different way that can better them. I, I try to bring some humor to someone's day and people love my fucking humor on Facebook. But that's what I do. But there's an issue even with that. Is that when I'm getting my dopamine shot from other people liking my humor and that we have a both a great interaction of wow that was hilarious that you posted that well what happens I don't try to uh, provide this kind of humor in real life because that has already been taken up out of my day to have given other people value so the people in my day to day life I'm less apt to be that way I'm less apt to provide value and it's rough. It's, it becomes an addiction because then you look at your phone and you're like, oh, did, did people like this? Did people want to look at my status? Did people want to understand me? No, that's the truth. No, they don't really give a fuck. Because chances are they already have a thousand other friends because of this addiction. So they don't really take into heart what you're doing on social media because there's a million people millions of people on social media and the majority of them are addicted so this is next level than me because I'm not really addicted but in some sense I am because I keep going back so understand you are greatly reducing your relationships and your value in real life by the screen addiction, by this social media addiction. You are taking up value in real dopamine shots that provide real value back and return to you as a reward because of this, you're interacting with this technology. Now, I've already talked about technology going to be a part of everyday aspects. Well, what I didn't talk about is how social media as well will be a part of your day-to-day -day construct. You can be at work and still be involved with social media. I know people that go Facebook Live when they're at work, when they're supposed to be working. Right? I mean, technically, what am I doing? <laughs> On YouTube, I'm working, but I'm also trying to provide value for all this. It could be uh, taking up from my um, driving, my, my work. Right? So I kind of just wanted to get this video out of the way and I want to get more videos out of the way that uh, I said I was going to do weeks ago, probably three weeks ago when I made that video, what content do you want from me? What subject do you want from me? Definitely post be below if you want to have something specific that I wanted to, that you want me to talk about. Sorry, I'm at a loss for words because I'm talking about a subject for 23 minutes that I have really no, no clue on. So, uh, hope you got something out of this video. Hope you understand where addiction lies when it comes to social media. I know there's tons of aspects of this I didn't touch on. I just wanted to tell you how, uh, what I know from the uh, human psyche and what I know from the subject. You know, I'm not going to look up this shit. I always want content to be straight out of my mind. Nothing research-based. Nothing that I have to look up. All my content is straight out of my mind. That is it. So that's what you're going to get. If you want my take on something, let me know. See you guys.